I came out into the greenhouse this morning and I noticed that there were little water drops hanging from the leaves. It was rather a cold night, perhaps around about 10 degrees. Uh, and this morning uh, I thought perhaps it might be due. But uh, since all the doors and windows were closed in the greenhouse then, it wasn't that. So I had to find out what it was. I had watered the plants uh, quite heavily the night before. And I went onto the internet and I did a search for water droplets on the ends of leaves. And it comes up with uh, a process called gutation, G-U-T-T-A-T-I-O-N. And what happens is that plants usually s transpire through their uh, stomata. And at night time they close down. And the silly old roots, they just keep on sort of taking water out of the soil and uh, pumping it up into the leaves. And uh, the stomata are usually uh, used for transpiring, getting rid of water vapor, or oxygen or carbon dioxide. But uh, they close down at night time and the plant has to get rid of, of the water. So there are special little holes in the leaves thing they're called hydrols and that's where the water droplets come out. So when you see these little water droplets, this is on a tomato plant by the way, forming on your leaves, nothing to be worried about, it's not harmful to the plant, uh, but the plant is actually talking to you and telling you, look you've overwatered me. I don't need so much water. So you should listen to what your plants are saying and uh, avoid overwatering. Otherwise, you get this thing happening called gutation. G U T T A T I O N. So that's it. I thought it was an interesting phenomenon. It's the first time I have observed it. These are on the Australian uh, dwarf tomatoes. So, observe your plants and see what they're doing. Over and out.